Hey guys, welcome to Pokedex, a channel where I build decks for the Pokemon trading card game. Today I'm going to be playing Giratina Aromatis. This deck is no secret for anyone playing this game for the past couple of weeks, I guess. Tim Fishnackle even made a video about it. Um, I'm going to post a link to that video in the description. Squeaky says this is potentially even the best deck in format right now. I have serious doubts about that. Uh, in fact, I even think that the Giratina Bronzong uh, build is a little bit better. Um, it recovers way better when the energy gets knocked out um, and it has better uh, attackers uh, other than Giratini because you can play the Tyrantrum EX, you can play AG Slash EX which, which I think is pretty cool uh, right now um, but yeah this this is actually a, a pretty decent deck um, if you're playing against a mirror match with Giratina of course the fairy Pokemon hit for a lot of damage because Giratina is weak to fairy and I guess that makes it a little bit better but yeah when a Giratina dies and we lose a lot of energy it's a little bit worse for this deck than it is for the Bronzong build um, and I try to offset that uh, uh, that weakness a little bit with with my own list which you guys are looking at right now we'll get to that in a second I think let's just jump right in and start looking into the Pokemon. So we start off with the three Giratina, which are the um, namesake of the deck and the main attacker here. We're trying to use Giratina in a profitable way here. And because we're going to two hit knock out our opponent's Pokemon, I guess playing them with an uh, Aromatis uh, line in here uh, makes it a lot better. So we're playing a 3 3 Aromatis line. We can move the energy around so we can switch attackers. Uh, we can even potentially use AZ to heal off the damage just because we don't have max potion right now. Um, and it doesn't seem like we will until February or something like that. But yeah, that's a, a issue for another video. So. We are playing two Lugia EX in here, it's the secondary attacker, uh, attacker of the deck, sorry, and I'm actually playing two because I really think this deck needed some other attacker for those times when Chiratini EX is not great. Uh, there's a lot of times where Chiratini just isn't doing a lot, so I think Lugia is pretty good. Especially since if we have four energy on the table, it's uh, a real threat that we can just put a Lugia down, you guys know how that works. Put a Lugia down with a muscle band move 4 energy into that uh, thing and you just hit with the Perican for 170 damage that's a lot of damage so you can kill uh, stuff uh, out of the out of nowhere so if, for example if your opponent is attacking with a, um, a Manetric that he did not evolve into a Mega because he, does, he wants to damage the Giratina right so <laughs> out of the out of nowhere you just build up a Lugia and you hit that Manetric and you knock it out and if the opponent has no other energy in play he's going to be in trouble for sure so yeah, that I think it picks up a little bit of slack where uh, Giratina uh, leaves us, which is uh, the opponent might not just evolve his Pokemon. Plus against other Lugias, it's better to go with Lugia than with Giratina just because it needs 4 energy to attack, so it takes a lot of damage. So you guys know how that works. So I'm playing 2 Lugia EX, and also I'm playing another attacker here, which is the Xerneas EX. Xerneas is cool because uh, break through this 60 damage plus 30 to the bench, you won't believe how useful that thing is. And of course, uh, X-Blast is also not that bad. I mean, 140 damage and you can choose it during the next turn, but yeah, sometimes we really need the extra damage be able to heal to deal that 140 plus we don't even need a muscle band to knock out a shaman so this is a nice finisher sometimes so yeah that's why i'm playing the Zernia cx really great tactical pokemon and i feel like uh, we really need different attackers with this deck because if you're playing aromatis uh without having a lot of different attackers in your deck i think you're doing it wrong i really feel like this deck is the best uh, when you can switch between different Pokemon and you have some sort of toolboxy thing going on. Uh, we are playing two Shemini X for obvious reasons, we want to draw cards. Um, of course this deck also fills up the bench pretty nicely, so we have to be careful with Shemini, but yeah, it doesn't. it's not as, as bad as other Fairy decks. Um, we are playing three Xerneas, the normal one, the, the Noni X. Uh, this guy is really good for Geomancy, you guys know how that works, I'm only playing three. Um, would love to play the fourth, but I don't really think we can cut anything. Uh, well, you guys uh, will be the judge for yourself, so um, yeah, but I think three are enough, actually. Uh, it, this is a, actually a really good Pokemon because against other Giratina builds, we actually use Rainbow Spear a lot to deal 200 damage and discard uh, a fairy energy, so it doesn't really matter too much the energy that we discard because we will be dealing 200 damage, and that's a lot. Um, 
we have one level ball it's really good to like grab anything from our aromatist line it doesn't grab any of our other pokemon but yeah we have the space so i guess having one ball that we don't need to discard anything for is really good we have four trainers mail and four ultra ball don't really need to talk about those as well and of course four vs seeker to grab our supporters back we have one az maybe we could up the count of az but i have I have a lot of success with only one, so yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Um, AZ is basically used to, uh, well, we can use it to retreat, I guess, because we only play three stadiums, but yeah, most of the times we just use it uh, to heal off the damage of our Pokemon. Of course, we can also bring the Shaman back to our hand and not play it again, so don't be forced to play the Shaman back down. Uh, so yeah, AZ, really cool card, we only play one, it's really good with the VS Seeker, obviously. We have two Lysander to get those knockouts that we really need, uh, sometimes grabbing the, the correct Pokemon at the right time, mostly because this guy to hit knocks out anything, the Giratina I mean, so sometimes we need to be the first one to hit to draw the first blood, so that we can knock out their Pokemon without them killing our own Giratina. We have three Birch and four Sycamore as far as card drawing supporters go, and then I'm playing three Fairy Garden, as I mentioned, to be able to retreat. And I feel like three are enough, mostly because Giratina EX ticks the stadium down. So most Giratina decks that I play, I've played three stadiums only. And I think I'll keep up with that because I've, uh, I've thought that's enough. So yeah, we have the Fairy Garden in here. Uh, this is one of the th additions, my additions to the deck. I don't think a lot of people are playing EXP Share. But I've played this a lot in um, Gardevoir decks, for example, where keeping the energy is really important. And I think this deck too, uh, if we lose um, a Giratina and we are able to just keep a, a single energy, sometimes that's crucial to be able to attack the following turn. So yeah, I, I've, I really like the EXP share. It's not as important as in the Gardevoir decks, but I kind of felt like we had the extra space, so it's really nice to have one of these around. We also have three muscle bands to increase the damage, just because Giratini X with a muscle band on it's 120 damage, so that kills a Shaman. That's super good. Um, we can also use it on the Xerneas to hit those 120 damage that I just mentioned, and of course on Luya to hit 170, so that's awesome. awesome. I guess Xerneas uh, doesn't really matter too much, but <laughs> yeah, uh, we can also put it there, I guess. As far as energy goes, we have the four double dragon energy, really, 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 really important. But of course, if we lose all the dragon energy, we might still be able to attack with the Lugia or with the Xerneas EX. So if the opponent also is playing something like, um, uh, sorry, the Aegislash EX, we can use the Lugia EX to deal damage to that guy. Uh, so the... Aegislash usually needs a lot of energy, so Lugia trades really nicely with it. Uh, so I have 8 um, Fairy Energy in here. I really think this deck needs a lot of energy to get going. And that's my build, that's my list. Let's see how it works. So our opponent seems to be playing a Lightning deck. Lightning with uh, Shamans in there, I guess. Uh, that would be the Colorless, probably Lugia as well. So we see a Manetric, Mega Manetric deck. And a Mega Ampharos, oh, okay, that's interesting, with Mega Turbo, so he's playing a couple of Megas, not just one. I guess that's great for our Giratina strategy, but I think Lugia is going to be put on the sidelines this one. Unfortunately, we won't be able to showcase the Lugia in the deck. Yeah, drawing a couple of cards is nice. We have two Ultra Balls that we can use to discard a lot of cards. I think I'll go for Xerneas with the first Ultra Ball. The Noni X, I mean. And the other one can go for an Aromatist, I guess. And then we have. Oh, we drew the Shaman. That's also nice, I guess. So I can play this thing, discard the supporters that I'm not going to play. Yeah, there's a lot of Spritzies and Aromatists there, which is nice. And I'll discard the Lugia and. I could draw another supporter, but I think I really need the energy, and I think I'll go for the muscle band. Just because I don't want to put a muscle band until I'm really sure that I'm going to need it, because the the Manetric, the non-EX Manetric, oh, there's another Spritzy, that's nice. The non-Mega uh, Manetric, I mean, does um, 120 damage if I have the, the tool there, so... Do I play the supporter? I think I can play a Birch and Shuffle. Uh, okay, we got Tails, but yeah, there's a Daisy. That's perfect. Yeah, we don't draw the stadium. Doesn't really matter too much just because we draw the wall here. 
So yeah, that's cool. Um, I was thinking about using AZ to get the Giratina out of there and just use the Xerneas. We would be discarding an energy, but now that we drew the Ultra Ball, that's even the sorry, the Level Ball, that's even better because we can just get grab the Aromatis and just move the energy around so we can keep it in play. Which is exactly what I'm going to do next turn. That's basically why I play the supporter because I really wanted to draw a Stadium to be able to retreat from this Chiratina. And now the AZ plan is even better. This guy does 100 damage and hits for no weakness or something like that. It doesn't really scare me too much. I guess the opponent will have to evolve. There's the battle compressor. But as I was saying, um, having the Giratina take damage here, actually having the AZ is even better because we will be able to heal off the, the damage. If I had found the stadium, I think I would have retreated from the Xerneas, but now that we have the AZ, I think it's even better. AZ and level ball, that is. And we also have supporters for the following turn, so... Okay, we grab the Aromatis here, put it down, um, move the energy around, because why not? And now we can just AZ this guy, move this to the active, play this thing here, and I can Geomancy. So one here and another one on the Spritzy. Actually, uh, the Shaman can get knocked out, but the Aromatis, I don't think, uh, will be knocked out. So my opponent would have to, even with a Muscle Band, it wouldn't be enough. So it would be 80 damage. So I think we'll, we are golden to not lose any energy next turn. There's an Ultra Ball. My opponent is probably grabbing that shame. Yeah, that shame. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that he didn't do that this turn. But yeah, I guess he was trying to empty the hand. Or maybe just through the Ultra Ball this turn. A lot of uh, special energy come down before we get a chance to attack with our Giratina. So maybe next turn we end all those shenanigans. That's really nice if we cut our opponent off special energy because he can only play the Lightning types. He needs a lot of energy on those guys, and he cannot evolve or else he won't be dealing damage to the Chiritina, so... No Mega Manetric shenanigans. I guess he, I, if I were him, I would evolve one of my Megas, or my Manetrics to the Mega, just to be able to charge up the guys on the bench, even without dealing damage. But, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. What my opponent does. There's a Spirit Link. Maybe he's just scared of the... Head Ringer, I guess. Rough seas. And 60 damage to our guy, okay. So let's see. We got a muscle band. I don't think I'm going to put it down. Or yeah, maybe I will because the Xerneas would be able to kill a shaman later. If we have yeah, we might actually get to retreat it if we find the dragon energy on the stadium. Oh, we got neither of those. Oh. Huh. That sucks. Well, I guess I'll put the other Giratina EX down. And I think I'll move some energy around here. Yeah, this guy is going to die next turn, so I'm just going to get ready for that. And I'll add Geomancy here, and I guess on the Aromatis. If we lose it, oh well. I think it would actually be better than losing the Xerneas, although we only have one energy left in our deck, so... I feel like this the guy, yeah, my opponent takes the, uh, the 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 advantage to just takes the fact that we don't attack with the, the Giratina there to just be able to play a DC on his dude. So he's getting ready, he's getting his guys ready, and he evolves into the Mega Manetric, so it doesn't matter that we have the muscle band in the Xerneas now, because it would get knocked out anyways. Okay, there's energy there that he can bring back. And he's going to put those energy where? Is it on the Manetric? Oh no, he goes for the Ampharos, okay. The guy actually does less damage, but I guess that's a two-hit KO anyway, so... I, I'm, I think I have to play this thing here, um, because I want to be able to kill the Mega Manetric, and I want to also hit... Um, Let's see, what, what else can we discard? Actually, maybe I just draw this guy and put it down here. I want to hit Stadium. Yeah, there we go. And the, <laughs> the energy, finally. Because now I'm going to lock the Stadium down. So that means 120 damage. Let's move the energy first. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this spread. Okay. 
So Chaos Wheel 120, so now my opponent is at 90 HP. This guy does 100, so it's not enough. And I don't think my opponent is going to attack with his Mega again. And he cannot heal the damage. So now, we have this Via Seeker. I don't know, let's see what my opponent does. I can't really predict what he's thinking, but I don't feel like attacking with the the Mega Manetric is doing him any good here. Although he has energy in the discard pile, maybe he's just going to charge up stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I might go for a Lysander, because I know I discarded one in the first turn. Or maybe I just use this Via Seeker to grab the AZ and I keep healing over and over again because yeah, this guy protects us from uh, anything, so we can, it, it also protects us from the paralysis that the, the the Mega would do. So I'm not really scared of that, so maybe I just use the AZ to heal over and over, because I think this is a battle of attrition. My opponent is doing... he's not going to evolve, so I, don't, I think he's only going to be heal, dealing 100 damage to us every single turn. Um, so potentially 120 or 140 with that mega manetric with that manetric with the muscle band on but yeah it's still oh yeah you can't play muscle bands because i just block items i mean tools but he, oh that sucks is he going to play that thing now has he already played the supporter i can't remember oh he just retreats and okay so he did not uh kill us so now this is a curious situation we actually drew the lysander so we actually can save the az for later that's good because i feel like this is the perfect time to just hit let's just move the energy around because i don't want to lose it and i think i'm just going to hit the, the mega monetric i'm going to kill it making sure that my opponent does not bring energy back unless he evolves that other monetric which i think would be terrible for him so i'm going to take 100 damage but I can actually attack with the Xerneas EX afterwards, so uh, try to deal some damage to that uh, Ampharos. And actually, yeah, 170, so we can actually kill it with um, the Giratina with a muscle band on. So right now I think I'm just actually going to retreat this guy and attack and deal 30 damage to the Amphors on the bench he would be left at 140 so we can actually kill it with the X Blast later if it comes down to that I don't know if my opponent has a Lysander or not in hand but he's only going... yeah so right now I'm just going to retreat I'm going to play the Dragon Energy I guess uh, this way we can defend the most energy that we can actually I'm going to move one of these two over to this guy so now if my opponent just kills one of them I lose only two of those energies and just 30 and 60 here. There's a spirit link that my opponent takes the 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 time to play. Oh, he actually evolves. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not scared of that guy anymore. Oh, center lady healing this guy. Yeah, I forgot about that <laughs> for a minute. But would I have played exactly the same? I think I would to be honest. Um, let's see, let's see what we draw out of this. Uh, okay, we got the XP chair, I think that's actually pretty cool, because now I only lose two energy if uh, this guy dies, so uh, where am I going to put this thing? I guess the Mega Manager can get knocked out, but if my opponent does that, I think he's playing wrong, because I just rather keep my aromatis around, so yeah, this thing I'm going to put one energy. I guess I can put it on. Mm, yeah, on the aromatis, I guess. Uh, I think it's the best place to put it. I think I'm going to lose two energy. I'm going to deal damage to the Mega Manetric. Or, sorry, the, the Manetric, not the Mega. It's not a Mega. Um, if my opponent Lysander's out the aromatis, of course, I'm not going to be sad either, so. just trying to spread out the, maybe I should have put the energy from the Giratina with the muscle band on 
on the aromatist. Okay, so my opponent is VS Seeker. Is he going to use this, the Central Lady again? Oh no, he Lysanders. Okay. What is he going to Lysander? Maybe I guess the Giratina. Yeah. He goes for the one without the muscle band, and I think that's a mistake. Maybe I, I, I think he's. So what I think he's going for is the uh, damage with a Mega Manet, or sorry, with a Manetric EX, but I actually feel like the, those 20 damage are not going to be really relevant right now, so I'm just glad that I can kill this dude right now. And there's also Dragon Energy still around, so I do have this guy on the bench that I might actually put down, so now... I'm going to get it ready, I think. Spread the energy around if my opponent decides to kill the the Zernia CX instead. So yeah, I think I can just Chaos Wheel here, kill this guy off. And now even if he kills our Giratina, we have the Zernia CX and we have Lysanders, we have a lot of stuff, so we can actually deal 140 damage in a pinch with our Xerneas. Or just grab a um, if in case he kills the Xerneas instead, we can just use the Giratina EX to kill the the shaman with our hand. I guess the worst thing that could happen would be him. Oh no, he can't both kill the Xerneas CX and um, play an Ace Trainer. So because he would need the 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 Lysander to be able to kill the the Xerneas, and we get to keep an energy also. So that's really nice. I guess he didn't do a lot of difference, but I did keep two energy. So. I would be left at 3 energy if that ha had happened, so if I didn't have the um, EXP share. So as you guys see, I think it's actually important that we had it. Yeah, we actually, the EXP share was key in this game because it allowed, it, uh, allowed us to keep uh, 1 energy twice in 2 knockouts, so that meant that we actually have uh, enough energy here for the knockout, uh, and I think that was key. Uh, so yeah, there you, there you have it. Uh, I guess the opponent was kind of playing a deck with a lot of Megas, but as you see, even uh, when they don't evolve, I guess they are playing our, into our game. We did not get to use the Lugia, but we did get to use the, the Xerneas CX, which I think was pretty cool here in this match. Um, yeah, there's really not much to be said about it. Uh, the deck is pretty good, um, and I think it gets better with the by playing a lot of different extra types of Pokemon. Uh, maybe we could even make a case for the um, <laughs> the Tyrantrum EX, but I think that's overkill. Um, I think that's just too much. We need two double dragon energies to be able to use the, the, the attack, even if we don't discard those, if we just discard fairy energy, but I don't think that's very good. So yeah, that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, please hit the like button if you liked it. That means a lot to me. I don't say that often, so I guess you guys forget, but yeah, that means a lot to me, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already, which I guess you have, uh, most of you at least, and tell your friends, I don't know. I guess, see you guys next time, bye!